When exploring the tropical world of Southeast Asia, chasing raw adventure and reaching new thresholds of excitement, in the back of our mind, we all know that there are things that can go wrong. But we never really seem to think that those things are going to happen to us. One afternoon in Bali, my brother, my friend Sarah and I were riding our scooters to a place called Sakampal where there are beautiful waterfalls and forests to explore. But we took a wrong turn and ended up getting lost in the dark. We are literally in the middle of absolutely nowhere. We had to navigate through a steep, skinny scooter trail to try and get back onto the main road without falling off. We were pretty exhausted trying to concentrate this whole time to get back to the main road, but eventually we got there. Then, on the safe road, I hit a pothole. <gasps> At 35 kilometers an hour, I hit a massive pothole in the middle of the road and was thrown off the bike. My wrist was bent and I knew something pretty bad had happened to my shoulder. I'd also hit my head, but luckily I was wearing a helmet. down this hill and all of a sudden like out of nowhere I see like like a pothole or something in the ground hit it just went over the handlebars and twisted it worst gravel as well I couldn't do anything about it so okay plan here we need to take you to a hospital yeah 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 do you want yeah no it's okay yeah we got your phone I mean your airpods move your heart I was taken to a local hospital, which the name of I cannot remember, and I got some x-rays done, and it was clear that I had broken my wrist, and I'd snapped my collarbone in half. The doctor needed to bend my wrist back into shape to help with the blood flow, and then plaster it up. this out so that's what I rode into massive massive pothole I must have hit this big one actually and just yeah, you toppled came over the there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 holy shit yeah there's there's scratch marks there My flight back to Melbourne, which was intended for a visa run, was in two days' time. And with the medical clearance from the doctor in Bali to fly, I caught my flight back to Melbourne, where I went straight into emergency at the hospital there. I was told I needed surgery on my wrist and my collarbone. Okay, so I'm going in for surgery tomorrow. You can see my collarbone right there. That's the snapped part of the collarbone sticking up. And the other half is underneath that. So I need to get that plated together and my wrist as well needs surgery so don't drive at night and hit potholes so then i went into surgery and i had a plate put into my clavicle bone to hold it together whilst it repaired and another one put into my wrist and then began a long journey of recovery and a vicious game of mental strength i'd have to play it's been just over a year now since that accident and i've just recently had my plate taken out of my collarbone, so now that's healing up once again. I know the story in the last video that showed everything leading up to the accident uh, was a little over the top in the ending and it actually did seem like someone died. Yeah, I really misjudged the way that I portrayed that and 
Yeah, I apologize. I don't like misleading people. Looking back on the accident today, I'm actually very thankful that I only broke my collarbone and my wrist. Given what happened and how I fell, uh, the helmet was damaged, so I did hit my head at one point. I don't even remember that. And I actually flew onto my back, but luckily I was wearing my backpack, which saved me from more serious injuries. So I'm very thankful that I can still do all this. <laughs> I'd like to say a massive thank you to all the locals that helped me out. There were so many people that were willing to just get me to where I needed to be. A massive thank you to my good friend Sarah who took care of me throughout the whole thing, cleaning up my injuries and just being there for me. And also to my amazing brother Jamie who pretty much did the same thing and just made sure I needed to get to where I needed to be. Uh, to be well taken care of. Overall, I've made a really good recovery, um, but yeah, the, the year leading up to that accident was definitely one of the hardest years that I'd ever been through. Um, that and all other things going on within this year, it's been, it's been very, it's been hard. Um, it's definitely been a big learning experience and I've taken a lot from that. And for those wondering about my masterclass, I have had to take a massive step backwards in order to get my mental health back together from everything that's happened. Um, so bear with me on that one. I'll jump back into it when I've gotten myself into a state where I feel like I'm ready. I tried my best to recreate and document some of those moments I went through within the last year in this next cinematic sequence. So I hope you enjoy. Big, you know, all my work falling behind. Why is the feeling so much time? Back. Never be How the, the same fuck again. did this happen to me? Hey Rob, what's going on? Hey mate, are you still coming camping this weekend? Oh, nah, I'm still actually recovering from the accident. Oh, sorry mate, completely forgot about that. That's all good. Oh well, rest up man, and we'll catch up soon. Thanks bro. See you man. See you later. I need to calm oh, down. I'm losing myself. Stop stressing. I have no hair soon. Go 
back need to, to stop stressing. I'm losing so much this of my hair. Fast. Stop stressing. We'll get through it. You just need time. I have to relax. I need to sleep. Fuck's sake. Stop thinking. <gasps> stop God. thinking. I don't want to be tired again stop. tomorrow. Gonna have this scar for the rest of my life. Stupid mistake. If I just saw the pothole, none of this would be happening. Feeling like so far behind. I'm losing so much hair. Can't keep stressing like this. Can't believe this. Oh well. It happened, and there's nothing you can do now. You can either stay drowning in your own mind, or accept what is, and find a way to use these tough times to transform and become something new. Something new. Crack it from one side, in the middle, and then when you open it, you kind of just flip it. But here I have to do it in slow motion. Let's give it a try. Better do what the physio said. The scar's so ugly. The scar looks terrible. I can't wait. No, it, it doesn't. It looks it's actually kind of cool. It's part of your character now. I gotta get my movement back. Let's get my arm back. Won't be needing this anymore. It's been six weeks. Let's see what we got. Let's see how much this hurts. No push ups yet. Oh, I'm not supposed to run yet, but I gotta try. Should I be doing Let's this? See how we go. I gotta try anyway. Need to start getting fit again. Hopefully it doesn't hurt, and I can run again. I have never read before? This is awesome. Finally, I can finish this video. Oh, everyone's wondering what happened. Oh. oh, okay. Maybe not yet. Not much pain Maybe now. It's getting way better. Gotta make an effort to eat even healthier than I was before. Fuck yeah. Okay. Under five minutes. Let's go. You're so lucky to be a part of this. What an incredible It's life. a beautiful place to be. I'm so thankful. You're so lucky to be here. Time to finish my course. <sighs> no pain so far. Oh, fucking hair loss. Alright, you don't need hair. There's yeah. worse things in life than losing your hair, man. There will be tough times that change the course of our lives, some more challenging than others. But in the end, we really only have one option, where the road will be long and way steeper than we ever could have imagined. But rather than fight ourselves uncontrollably in the mental battles we face, we must be kind to ourselves, accept what we can't control, and see the pain and sorrows as a chance to learn and grow further on who we are rather than let it consume us and fall deeper into feeling like we are not worthy or loved. To escape a deep sorrow, we must find meaning in it. Use it as a chance to grow and become something new. I'm still on a constant battle with myself, but every day I'm learning and finding ways to use it and become a better version of me.